Homegrown terrorism. It's a threat U.S. authorities have monitored closely since the 2001 terrorist attacks in the United States. Much of the focus has been on Muslims becoming radicalized. But a study by several universities finds that American Muslims on the whole are unmoved by Islamic militants' violent appeals. VOA religion correspondent Jerome Sokolovsky went to the state of North Carolina to find out more. Take a look. Growing up as an American Muslim, Sally Ayad was not affected by political problems in the Middle East. The news, the things that happen overseas, we didn't have any of that growing up. And we, didn't ha we weren't asked to condemn it or justify it in any way. For Muslims at her mosque in Raleigh, North Carolina, and around the country, it was much the same. But now many feel they're often regarded as potential terrorists. Now, in talking to uh, some of these Muslim Americans, you were able to sort of get a picture of, of who are the Muslims that live in this area. Talk to us about that story. Right. This was actually the second story I did in a series from, of two from North Carolina uh, about the uh, Muslim community there. And having seen the, who the victims were, these young professional uh, people who seemed like anybody else, aside from their religion, they seemed like kids, really. Right. Know, they were I'm, students, right? They were students. Yeah. And so I asked myself, like, who were, what kind of, where, who were they? Where do they come from? Interestingly, in this part of North Carolina, there were many research jobs as a result of the change from, it used to be a tobacco producing area. Once better known for its tobacco production, this area known as the Triangle began to attract technology companies and research labs back in the 60s. The transformation of this region into a high-tech corridor with universities like this one also turned it into a magnet for highly educated immigrants. And for many among them, including Muslims, it was the fulfillment of the American dream. This is uh, my family, basically, <laughs> here. Mohammed El Gamal owns a computer technology firm and says his religion was not an issue before. I think the Muslims lived like any other religion, any other faith in North Carolina for a very, very long time. Jerome, why were you interested in it and why did you want to cover it? I've been asking myself, like many Americans, why do we have this gigantic security apparatus um, aimed at stopping terrorism? Not just terrorism committed in the name of Islam, but there's also uh, right-wing uh, terrorism cases as well. But if you look at that, what this study shows, that it, and, and other studies as well, is that if you look at just Muslim terrorism and right-wing terrorism, it's still a very minuscule part of the overall uh, threat to public safety or threats to public safety in this country. Since the terrorist attacks of 2001, much concern has focused on American Muslim communities such as this one. But one influential study suggests that focus is misplaced. Researcher Charles Kurzman counted the number of Muslims suspected of planning or perpetrating political violence during this time. And we've identified about 250 individuals who've been arrested for uh, or who've engaged in acts that might be called terrorism. 250 people may seem like a lot, but it's a tiny fraction of this country's estimated population of about 3 million Muslims. Does the religion now, because of these elements that have taken it and perverted it right. and used it in the name, and used, committed acts of violence in the name of their religion, right. what needs to happen? Right. There's no question that the large majority of Muslims around the world are peaceful people who just want to go about their business, live their lives like anybody else. Um, part of the problem is that in the Middle East um, and in some other Muslim countries, uh, there, are, there are people who are claiming that if we go back, we meaning we Muslims, go back to a time uh, in the medieval uh, period when Islam was predominant, when it was a kind of, uh, we were creating this paradise on earth, everything will be better. When they see a study like this and when they watch a report, what is the interpretation that you're hoping people are able to make from it? Well, I think when we see studies like this, we should all realize that we should calm down a little bit and think uh, clearly about these issues. I'm not trying to paper over any kind of problems with terrorism. It's very real. 
many people do ask, myself included, why do we have such a big security apparatus? But I also remind myself that all it takes is one serious terrorist attack and you see the utility of that. But we just have to keep asking that question and keep having this, uh, this conversation. And you can add your own voice to that conversation. Please write to us on Facebook and you can find our page by searching VOA on assignment.